welcome back everyone now managing driver on our computer is really a very challenging task we are not sure that which driver is missing from our computer which driver is outdated that need to be updated and because of this you may have multiple problems related to internet your graphic issues your bluetooth issues there can be lots of problems but in this video i will be sharing one single tool that will be helping you to manage all the driver it will let you know which driver need to be updated and which driver is, is exactly missing from your computer so let's quickly get started now you will have to come to this website the link will be in the description a snappy driver installer and it says install missing driver and update old driver so once you come up here you will find the download option and you can see that it's available for xp vista 7 8 8.1 10 and for 11 so whichever windows operating system you're using you can download this for any one of them so simply click on download now it will give you two different options sdi full and the driver pack online now sdi full is basically a offline version that you can download and it's around 34 gigabyte and it's basically for the people who do uh, especially the troubleshooting or for the it people they can download this one but for the normal people we can go with the driver pack online that is only 5.5 mb now it gives you two different options mirrors and old version so if i click on mirrors i get different options so i go with the top one i will click on download but in case if the first link doesn't work then you can go with another one that is major geeks so click on download and this will take you to a different page now once you come up here you will find the download exe option click on it and the downloading will be started and once it will be downloaded it will be downloaded in a zip file so you have to open the downloaded folder then extract the file by making a right click on it and choose extract all choose the destination wherever you want to save it then click on extract and once it will be extracted you will find all these kind of files so you need to look for the one that says sdi x64.exe make a right click on it choose run as administrator then click on yes and now this kind of simple box will be coming up if it asks you for the permission you have to click on allow and it says snappy driver installer and it gives you three different options download all driver pack so it will be downloading everything for you download network driver only so anything related to LAN, Wi-Fi or any other network driver will be downloaded. But you have to go with the download indexes only because this will be downloading the only one that is required for your computer. So go with the third option and then it will be looking up for all kind of available drivers, missing drivers and the driver that need to be updated. So you will have to wait here and once it will be done, it says drivers are up to date. Now in case if you don't want to download everything then you can click on click here to choose what to update and if you click on it it will give you all kind of driver information and it says the status is missing okay so what you can do if you want to select any particular uh, driver from here like touchpad or any kind of intel sound driver video driver then you can select them manually or you can just select them all and in the selection you can see it says this pc only so you can go with this option or you can select the network only so it will select all the drivers related to the network and after that you can click on accept then click on ok so this is how you can choose that what exactly a missing driver you want to install and what to not now another best option is that in the option section you get a create a restore point as well so if you want to create a restore point before updating any kind of driver you can do that okay and now you can see the driver i selected now it's been downloading and similarly every time whenever you feel that there is any kind of driver missing or some there are some pending update available then you can open this tool and you can download all the missing drivers and outdated drivers it's very simple to use guys that's all what you have to do here so that's all guys for today hopefully uh, you will find this information useful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any kind of question you can let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video bye bye